hello and welcome to the third video of this series in this video you will see how do you define your uh, custom configurations and how do you externalize them say while deploying to a different environment okay so uh, what I've done is to this our existing project I've added couple of more maven modules say core and domain core is basically about say your framework core and domain would have the domain structure of the application uh, till now we have just been doing something with strings and just returning them and reading them alright so let's do this let's go to domain let's create a class over here first we'll create a package say com dot mx example Let's add a class now. Let's call this product. So in this product class, let's have a couple of fields, say ID and name, private int ID, same way string product name. Let's also have description of the product. String description. Let us just generate getters and setters here. Generate getters and setters. Select all. Say OK. Great save this now what we'll do is we'll read this product in our home service let's even change the name of this as well let's rename this to product service let us also change this method let's say get me the best product you're selling okay so get best product now let us just extract an interface out of this use this let's call it i product service will uh, inject the concrete object through interface now uh, well th that is what the spring actually teaches us uh, that's what most design patterns tell you to do like go to an interface not to an implementation let us generate this so we have got i product service right so inside the implementation let us now just return product here this so what I need to do is even the interface would change it would return product now Let us just import the package. Alright, save these, return to implementation. This time, what we'll do is let's say product is equal to new. product has let's set the ID ID name and description alright ID would be say 101 
same way name would be say our demo product and description set description and description would be demo description and then just return this product alright we're done in our home controller what we'll do is we'll have this product service so even this guy would return a product product we have get the method is get best product let us change even this one the root mapping you will see get best product okay let us run this now <coughs> sorry run as spring boot app So we see our servlet container under two has started on eighty eighty one. Localhost eighty eighty one. So yeah, by default we'll we'll get uh, our stuff in the JSON format. So we got exactly what we hard coded over here. Generally, these things would be picked up from a database. Okay, so now let us do. Uh, uh, let us just set this description from configuration. So what we would do is go to our API, open up application properties file. Let's say best product dot description let me just put this in lower case would be something like demo description demo description from configurations now how do you read this stuff since this is a custom configuration earlier we saw that server is an inbuilt one server.port that you can override it uh, so we have created our own um, configuration now so the way you read this is this code should actually go into the framework core let us create a package here dot mx example uh, let's call it core next put up a class so since this is a system setting I'll say I'll name it as say mx system setting class say finish now let's declare a field with the name say best since since we are reading this best des best product description from the configuration so we'll name our string field also that way and the way you read this is with add value annotation in Spring add. let us just import the package and 
and the way you name it as dollar open curly braces and give the name of the setting so the name of the setting here is best product dot description let us annotate this with component so that we can inject it into the service now okay let's go to our product service let's declare a field mx system settings I'll just call it say system setting either you can inject this using auto wired here or you can do it through a constructor as well yeah, let's do it through a constructor then let's remove auto wired from here and let's define a public constructor just the same stuff I will say this dot system setting is equal to the passed in parameter and we'll do this through constructor or the wire alright so now let us set the description through our system setting system setting dot ok we have not generated any getter methods here let's do this generate getters and setters the getter since we are interested only about reading it we'll not set it save this come over here say get product description and you're done let's just run this as spring boot app Let me just unregister this. I think the instance was already running. Alright, let us refresh. So now you see the description is coming from the configuration. And uh, exactly the same way you override, uh, say, system or uh, server.port properties to change ports you can override this in the same way uh, let's just do this uh, let's create a runnable jar this should be real quick I think I need to maven clean stuff run as maven build this is a success now so anytime you see weird errors I mean we know we have got to clean the maven stuff uh, because eclipse caches some such settings over there okay now let's go to our 
workspace where this app would have been uh, this jar would have been created it's here copy this go to your home we will paste it here just replace so uh, we saw in the earlier videos that you create a config folder and put up an application properties file over there that that way you can override settings so over here also will override the same way let me just go here and let's put the same stuff here so instead of configuration we'll see now external configuration save this now let us just run this jar so we see under has started on port 8088 see the description got overhead and now your custom uh, configuration is working fine uh, well thanks for watching